from Veritasium and a gentleman by the name of Sir Isaac Newton. Well, a statue. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's a pretty good statue. It's a beautiful statue. For those of you who don't know anything about Sir Isaac Newton, commonly referred to as one of the greatest scientific minds ever. Or just Zach to his friends. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. No, that's not true. You know, when he was about 19, he got engaged to a woman. But then he got so involved in his science that they never got married. He just, he just like, forgot about her. Hmm. Went off and wrote some of the most amazing theories of physics of all time, and he never married. We had various theories for how things moved, and they were wrong. And this guy sorted it all out himself. He sorted out gravity, he sorted out how things moved with forces, accelerations, velocities. He made telescopes, he did optics, figured out, you know, where the colors of the rainbow were coming from. All that stuff all done by one guy. That's why he's such a hero to all of us. So I, I probably won't get a statue like this when I die. Hey, you know, I, I'd say better people ask why you don't have a statue than why you do. There's an interesting fact about King George here. Can you expand on that for Well, basically, during his reign, uh, the first new planet that we hadn't known for thousands of years was discovered. So someone found a planet that uh, had gone undiscovered from our eyes up until that point. So he named this planet the Georgium Sidus, which basically means mm, the star of King George, right? Yeah. But then nobody liked saying that because it's a mouthful. Let's face it. So uh, then scientists started throwing around other names, um, things like Neptune, which of course wasn't yet a planet either. So, you know, that name was, was, uh, was an option. And then the Greek uh, god of the sky, I believe, Uranus, uh, which we now pronounce Uranus. So. Right. The, this, the planet that was named after King George is now known as Uranus. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Derek, for the science. And thank you, Newton, for the secrets of the universe. Subscribe here, subscribe there. We'll see you next time.